Let's face it, Charlotte metro area is an exciting place to live. There are so many reasons why people are moving here. Today, I'm going to provide you my six top reasons why you will love living in the Charlotte area. So I think one of the most exciting top reasons, that's a number one reason why you would love living in Charlotte metro area is the fact that you can take so many different day trips. The opportunities to take day trips and locations and destinations are endless. But I wanted to give you my couple of my top suggestions that are unique that you probably will not find on major websites, magazines, and other videos. Because the destinations that I'll provide for you to take quick road trips that are under one hour are actually places I have explored myself. I checked them out. I made videos about them as well. You can find them on my channel but I can verify that they are quite exciting and interesting and really worth checking out. So let's go over a couple of exciting day trips that you can take with your friends and family around Charlotte area that are under one hour. The first place I wanted to recommend is called Tiger World, which is located in Rockwell, North Carolina. It is also under an hour drive from Uptown Charlotte. It's one of our local zoos that contain beautiful exotic animals, of course, tigers, emus, birds, and all sorts of different creatures, including bears. The place is quite fun and exciting, and I'm sure you love visiting it for a day, making it a great road trip. I'm sure you also didn't know a little secret about Iron Station, North Carolina that they have a petting zoo with exotic animals called alpacas. It's really worth taking a scenic drive and check out these amazing animals that are so friendly. They're not even gated. You can just walk up to them and pet them and take pictures, Instagram stories, whatever. And it's really worth checking out how the owners are taking care of them. They will also give you a quick tour of the farm and some history about alpacas. Highly recommend it. Now, if you want to explore a little bit of mystery with your kids or friends and check out a gold mine, I also visited Reed Gold Mine in Midland, North Carolina, where the entrance to the museum is completely free. You only pay a small fee if you'd like to dig for gold, which is a quite fun thing to do with kids. Just check it out, take a drive. You can even have a picnic on the grounds. They have benches and tables, but do go there during cooler weathers because I went there when it was really hot and I was sweating bullets. <laughs> now, if you're in the mood for something a little bit more elegant, Maybe you want to have a girl's evening out or a romantic weekend with your significant other. Check out Children's Vineyards in Lexington, North Carolina. Also a drive under one hour. The vineyards are quite stunning. When you visit the vineyards, you feel like you've been transported to Italy. The customer service is amazing. I haven't tried their wines because I don't drink. <laughs> but I did take a tour of the vineyard and you can also check that out in one of my videos. It's a beautiful place to hang out and to be, especially during the summer, so don't miss it. Well, how about giving some education about botanicals and butterflies to your kids? Or maybe even if you're a photography buff, you can take your camera and take photos of the beautiful flowers and butterflies at the Daniel Stoll Bot Botanical Garden, which is also a quite unique place. It's very peaceful, very quiet. So if you like something relaxing, that is a great road trip to take. 
and you can also bring your lunch and have a picnic there. What a fun way to spend time outside. Obviously, right now it's kind of cold, so you might not want a picnic outside, but you could still appreciate the gardens in the spring or summer. Highly recommend the place, and I've also filmed a quick video about my tour of the Daniel Stoll Botanical Gardens, so be sure to check that out. And in the outskirts of Gastonia, near King's Mountain, lies Crowder's Mountain Park. So if you are into something more energetic, hiking, strolling up uh, different trails, you can walk up one of the trails and be surprised with a beautiful view of a Crowder's Mountain and the Pinnacle and take some amazing photos while you're also getting exercise and maybe even taking your dog for a stroll. And I bet you didn't know that Lake Norman State Park has paddle boating, different kind of kayaking and canoeing that you can rent for cheap. Lake Norman State Park is amazing. It's quite beautiful. Obviously, it's located near the lake, so you're close to water, but you can also take some hiking trails and different walking routes and explore the beautiful grounds of the state park. And this park is located in Troutman, North Carolina. It is also under an hour trip for you if you are living or planning to live in the Upton Charlotte area or if you're planning to work there. It's a pretty quick trip, and when you finish, Torin Lake Norman State Park, you can also check out a couple of different neighborhoods that are situated around the state park. Perhaps maybe have lunch in Birkdale or visit Cornelius or maybe even stop by my town, Huntersville. And last but not least, day trip is of course, dear to my heart, Lata Plantation. I'm always there wandering around trails and taking pictures or snapping videos. You can check out a couple of videos on my channel about Lata Plantation. The Lata Plantation house used to be open to the public. I had a chance to tour the house inside and also take some footage of the grounds, which are now closed. You can check that video on one of my playlists. I will link it below but it's worth to really check out Lata Plantation for the fact that it's so close to Mountain Island Lake. So you can enjoy the beautiful water views, see people doing boating and jet skiing, and just take a couple of different trails to explore the beautiful nature Lata Plantation has to offer. So these are the unique, interesting road trips, day trips that you can take that are under an hour around the Charlotte area. Some of my favorites that I've mentioned to you earlier, I've explored. But let's move on to a second reason, exciting reason why you love living in Charlotte. And that is the fact that people here are so friendly. Now you might know from my other videos that I am a New York City transplant and New Yorkers can be a little bit moody and sometimes not even so nice. There are people with huge hearts when it comes to helping each other out, but sometimes they can get a little moody. In North Carolina, and especially around Charlotte area, it's unusual to be able to walk down the street and not hear this person say hello to you. It's just so common. And it was so shocking to me when I first moved here from New York City to know that everybody is so friendly. People call each other ma'am, sir. Charlotte city center is very diverse and there are people here from all over the world all over the country so you do see different kind of nationalities the third reason why you love living here is that charlotte metro area and the outskirts of charlotte city are still quite affordable for example the average home price in a typical suburb for example, Canapolis, which is 30 minutes away from Uptown Charlotte, the average home price there is around 280K. It's still quite affordable, close to a downtown, which Canapolis recently revitalized. 
there are other neighborhoods around the Charlotte area that are still affordable to live. If you happen to be a great avid sports fan, you will not be bored around Charlotte area. We have so many different teams. I'm not a sports person, but I hear my friends always talking about going to the NFL game, the Panthers, the Charlotte's Knights baseball, and so many more, too many to lists. So the sports scene and the game scene here is quite intense and the locals love their games and watching them either live or on TV while supporting their sports stars. The fifth exciting reason why you love living in the Charlotte metro area is the fact that Charlotte is booming in new construction. What I love so much about the new construction architecture is that it's becoming to look completely different and quite beautiful with innovative design, exciting architectural floor plans. A lot of the new homes have home offices that are so popular in the South. A lot of the builders provide custom crafted homes with modern amenities in very desirable areas and with beautiful views. If you'd like to check out some more information about the new construction, watch some of my videos about a couple of tours I did on the beautiful homes around the area. And the sixth top fantastic reason why you'd want to live in the area is the fact that Charlotte City has so many different small cities to check out and the cities have so much to offer. Some of them are Noda, Camp North End, South End, Myers Park or even Birkdale. But my favorites were Noda, which is quite eclectic and has that artsy feeling with great restaurants and also South End with its innovative international cuisine and a very hopping nightlife. If you'd like to learn more about these neighborhoods, be sure to check out my playlist where I take some tours of these neighborhoods and show you what they have to offer. As you can see, you cannot be bored living in the Charlotte metro area. As long as you have a car, you can get yourself to from point A to point B at any time and explore Charlotte metro, which has so much to offer. It's quite diverse, so interesting, has great weather. And as long as you can get creative, and find things to do, check out my channel for things to do around the area. You will not be bored here at all. And outside patios that are so, that are so popular in the South that you can explore so that you can take a, so, with elegant custom crafted homes that provide with elegant craft 